Hello everybody and welcome back to Pirate Ninja Productions. My name is Proteus and this is episode 18 of Direwolf 20 on 1.16. Um, yeah, so I have a giant concrete thing, or not concrete, uh, cobblestone. And you may notice it looks very much like uh, the create building that I never finished. Um, I'll get to it eventually. So I said I was going to try and build this building and I've started work on it. I need to build up a bunch of materials first before I make it look better. But well, that's what this is for. If you look for a moment, maybe. I should have set a timer. Ah, there we go. You see that? I have auto um, living rock and living wood. I'm gonna stick that in there. Um, I did convert some of the living rock into bricks because that is going to be part of the major uh, structural block of this build here because it looks a little bit bigger than or a little bit better than regular living rock and they can turn into all sorts of fancy stuff. Um, yeah, I found out I can use depth rock to make living rock. And since I have 400,000 depth rock, I figured why not? Uh, so yeah. Well, so it's been about a week since the last uh, episode will have gone out by the time this one comes out. And is I had a very busy week and just decided to take a week off. So I only released the one episode I had pre-recorded and that's it. And then Pneumatocraft was taking absolute ages, so we're basically not going to be coming in here at all today because, yeah, we're still having issues. I think the issue, I moved the elevator too because um, thermal lagging, but I think the issue is simply that these can't create enough pressure so I'm going to have to experiment, but not today. Um, hello. Control's getting away from me again. So instead, I've decided to start working on the Batania build. So the plan is um, to use a block from Batania as a inspiration for the building. Um, if you're extremely familiar with the mod, you may recognize the block already. If you're not, don't worry. I wouldn't be either. Um, <laughs> is this one right down here? The Botanical Brewery. Now, as you may be able to tell, I actually can't make it yet because I need to be able to make runes. And I have not yet made a runic altar. Although I could. Um, and I could make mana steel. And mana pearls and I already have a brewing stand and more mana steel and so I could make it except for actually you know mana generation which as you can see I've taken apart and the reason for that is because I'm going to try and generating flora so right now we've only got wow only got two uh available in the book uh i did want to this is the expansion uh mythic botany so there are i think there's two yeah there's two different generating flora neither of which are going to be that great because this one eats wither stars um i don't there i don't have wither star generation set up nether stars i should i i could I have plans, but I have yet to actually put them into effect. And then this one um, generates mana when it's raining. Um, I don't like rain, so I hope it doesn't rain. I usually sleep as soon as it starts raining. I don't want to depend on that for my mana gener generation. That being said, I'll probably make them anyways just to make them. But, let's see, 
where are all of the generating flowers? Ah, here they are. So, we are, right now we have uh, endo flames. We could use hydro hydroanges. Hydroanges? I can't pronounce that. Um, however, I believe that they uh they decay so they are basically to get you started but they're not useful in the long term endo flames are pretty easy to automate basically just drop anything that burns on them uh thermal lilies i think they use um um what's the word lava uh, Rosa Arcana, I don't remember what that one does. Munch do eats. Entropinium uses explosions. Cake immers eats cake. Uh, Gormorillus. Maybe that's the one that eats, and this is the one that eats like plants or something. That one takes slime, but it has to be naturally generated slime. Uh, that's a flower, but it's dandelions are apparently very powerful, but I have no idea how to use them. I've never heard of that one before. That's shulker related. And that's it. So probably for now, just going to be sticking with expanding the endo flame arrays. Um, I am going to make more of the floating pure daisies and I'm actually planning on using this central tower here basically as the lava rock or lava rock living rock and living wood generation uh, zone it's just going to be filled with them probably with an elevator in the middle so I can get up and down to the top floor and the bottom floor and the basement which will be below everything and it's time to sleep. Okay. And yes, I forgot to mention, I am planning, if you look at this, you see it has little floating platforms around it. I am planning on making those. They will be stationary because making moving floating platforms is not as magical as it sounds. This is good though. That's very good. So, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave this for now. Um, I like just this very simple setup for now. I will use these builders later. I am probably gonna have, hmm, I'll probably set up drawers for things like no, I won't. I won't set up drawers for things like these. Um, let's see. Charm of the Diva. I don't know what any of these things do. I would like to work towards... Oh, I should probably make this. This is a good one. I would like to work towards making the... Uh, or uh, summoning the Gaia Guardian. Because, let's face it, it's an awesome boss fight. It's um, it's just great. It's fun. It's just difficult enough to not be a cakewalk, and it's relatively easy. Um, speaking of cake, I just had the thought: How does one make cake? Oh, you can smelt cake batter which only comes from, I'm guessing, something mine colonies related that I don't have access to. Honey, egg, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, well, I don't think I can do that, but I can, I think I can auto craft it. Or I can set up starlight transmutation, pumpkins into cakes. Oof. I'm trying to think of a good uh, a good way to do um, 
mana generation that's not just simple, you know, endo flames everywhere. Because they, they are kind of boring. But I will think on that for a bit. I'm going to go and um, get some of the cobble and the floor swapped out. I'm going to, I am going to use living wood. I think I can make it into planks. Uh, yes, living wood planks. And then I can do framed living wood. And uh, the open crate is cool. But mostly I want living wood planks. So now if I... Look at that. It's not bad. Um, I had a crafting table. Yes. I wanted to. That's pattern framed living wood. What does that look like? That looks fancy. We're not going to use that for a floor. It's too fancy for a floor. And I just realized that, yes, I could be using the exchanging gadget to do this. In fact, I probably will after I finish. I'm actually going to turn that one off for a second. Uh, exchanging gadget. Oop. And we're going to Turn down the range a bit. And it's a pretty nice looking floor, I think. And there you have it. A fully functional floor that doesn't look horrendous. I'm not going to say it looks great, but at this point, uh, having anything that's not a um, having anything that's not a oh my word, why can't I remember the word dirt floor is uh, good with me. So I'm just going to outline where the daisies need to go. Using living rock because I have it. Oops. Of course, I don't have enough of it. That could be fixed. And now I'm going to need more. So, no, I did that right. Okay. All right, so if I fill this in like Ah, uh, I know where I went wrong. That's where I went wrong. There we go. Now I have nine slots available. I only have four of these. Oops. I'm playing too many different versions. I 
forget which tools I have in which packs. So if I do one, I'm just going to do the corners for now. And then we'll turn this into a, a one by one so I don't accidentally mine the flowers that I just put down. Oops. And I may at some point want this to be different. But for now, I am happy with it the way it is. I don't know if happy is the right word. It's close though. Yeah. Okay, so now what we need to do is take these shape cards out. And this one goes there. And of course, silly me, I forgot to leave corners in place. Okay, so, boom, boom, perfect. And the same thing with you, go one, two, there you go, reset, and you get turned on. And now I need to make more flowers so that these middle sections uh, don't get totally filled in. Um, so if I need nine and I have four, I need to make five more flowers, which means I need to make five more. Um, that's That's the wrong way. Are you done? You're done. So I need one, two, three, four, five. Let's hope I have enough. I do. And then put the sink down, get the bucket, and then go into my flower pouch. And I need um, I need all but one of my white flowers. Oh, I'm going to have to set up the botany pots. I'll do that in between episodes off camera, more than likely, because it's boring. And I don't know why I'm seeming like I'm rushing through this, because I definitely am rushing through this, but whatever. Okay, now. There is a flower in the Alphamancy, not Alpha, uh, Mythic Botany. Uh, bot it's basically a Batania add-on that allows the um, Pure Daisy, uh, not the Pure Daisy, the Petal Apothecary to be automatically filled with water which I think is kind of cool. There was an old thing from an old mod. Um, it was a Thomcraft add-on way back in 1.7 that um, allowed that. I'm going to have to set up a Solignolia in here. Uh, it's the, the uh, no magnet uh, flower. This one. All your magnets are belong to us. And you can uh, basically wherever you put it, it prevents magnets from picking up items within its range, um, which is nice for setups like Batania that require a lot of items moving. Okay, so now that we have those, I need um, to make some. I need to get access to a. 
this. I need a black flower and we'll make one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we use those to make that one, two, three, four, five. And then those and those make more floaters. And then I turn off that builder for a moment. And we'll properly place these guys. And then one should go there. Okay. So basically now what I'm going to do is get rid of that and get rid of that. So we don't need those anymore. And I'm going to put my depth rock and my logs back in there and watch and hope that these work. Watch and hope that these work. No, you're not going to go with my timing. How annoying. There we go. Okay, so that's that is working. Excellent. Right now. I actually want that to be totally empty because I want it to be at the same time. But we have proof that it works, proof of concept. Now I just need to do it for this. I uh, probably won't do it the whole thing. I'll do like one every other row. And then I will probably put windows in here so you can look at it from the platforms that are floating around. And the platforms will all be for different things. And I'll try to figure out some sort of mana transfer network, probably sparks or something like that. We'll see. Mana transfer can get complicated and annoying very quickly. But, uh, how much living rock? Ooh, 327 living rock. All right, so what I'm going to do is put one of those in there, and then I'm going to craft another four stacks, and then I'm going to replace three of those. Then I'm going to use my exchanging gadget and do one of those. And then I'm going to start giving this building a little bit more um, life. I want to make it look less like a cobblestone box and more like the botanical brewery, which of course we're going to have to make at some point. But I want to get this a little bit aesthetically pleasing first and then go ahead and set up a little bit more of a permanent mana generation area. Even just walking in here, it looks better. And that's it. I'm out. Wow. All right. Um. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's an insane amount. So you're just gonna all go in there now. And, uh, once it runs out of wood, because I won't need quite as much wood as I need, um, stone. Yeah, so once it runs out of wood, it'll keep going. Um... But I know it's a bit of a shorter episode, but I would really like to get this one out because I have been procrastinating. Um, so I'm going to end this here while I'm waiting for stuff to process. And in between, I will work on a better mana generation plan as well as get some setup done. Um, and hopefully get more of the building turned off cobblestone and into living rock. 
But until that time, I do hope that everyone enjoyed, and I will see you later.